I was an activist and an artist separately for a while. When I was a college student at Agnes Scott, that's when I figured out how these two parts of me really just go so perfectly together. My activism is not just the rallies and the meeting with members of Congress and having conversations with people. My activism is also my work. And when you're an activist, I think all parts of your life just kind of become your activism. And so for me, it was inevitable that my artwork was going to become activism. My name is Yemi Cambron, and I'm an artist, an activist, and an entrepreneur in Atlanta, Georgia. My first experience in understanding what it meant to be undocumented in the United States came because I won third place for an art contest. They couldn't award me the $50 because I didn't have a social security number. And that just blew my mind because it didn't matter that I got selected. The work that I created didn't matter. I didn't deserve to be compensated for my work. You know, that like clashing of this passion that I had and my immigration status was this landmark moment in my life that really opened my eyes and helped me understand the situation that I was in. With immigration and the conversations that we have in this country, the conversations are so dehumanized. It's like we're not seeing the human beings, it's all politics. And at the end of the day, these politics impact human beings in a very real way. And so I wanted to take this topic in, in which the conversations always intend to dehumanize people and criminalize people. I wanted to take those and I wanted to turn them into a more human conversation. So the, the exhibition at the High Museum was of origins and belonging drawn from Atlanta. This really was a perfect topic for me to explore the complexities of being undocumented in the U.S. I wanted for the very first thing people noticed to be their humanity, their gaze, you know, the features of their face, just like this human being that is right there in front of you, daring you to, to look back and to recognize not just our presence, but our contributions, to this country and to our communities. With immigration reform, the monarch butterfly has always been a symbol for immigrants. I felt like I needed to find a way to depict this symbol in a way that made sense for me. There have been so many uh, situations where people who are not undocumented, who are not immigrants, who aren't Mexican or brown people have found a way to connect to the symbol of the education and celebration monarch, for example, or to the monarch butterflies in the murals. That brings people into the conversation. The mural at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. People see the mural and they love the symbolism, the colors, the butterflies, but then when it comes time to talk about the work and the stories, I think people get a little bit scared because of the topics that come up, but we have to be brave about having these conversations in all spaces. You know, you can't accept the, the artwork and not accept everything that comes with it, the truth, the reality. It's my job to keep pushing that conversation and to be unapologetic when, when people try to get me to not talk about certain things. <laughs>